You know my name. Say it. Say my name. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review. Just for you and just for you. I am here in Batavia. I think I'm saying that right. New York State, United States of America. And I am at a Taco Bell to do another breakfast menu item. And I believe it's called the Scrambler. Good morning, welcome to Taco Bell. How can we help you start your day today? I'm doing fine, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty darn good. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to try that uh, steak burrito slammer thingy. The, the steak grande scrambler? That would be it, thank you. Alrighty. Would you like to try that in the number 18 combo? It would come with a drink of your choice and then a either a hash brown patty or an order of Cinnabon. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to go with uh, an orange juice. Okay. And that does everything look correct on the screen now? The Grand Scrambler Steak. Yes, it does. Okay. 581 is the total. Please pull around to the window. Thank you. Thank you very much. They are super friendly here in New York State. Hello, Hello once again. There you go. Awesome, thank you. Perfect, thank you very much. Unfortunately, her window is like right in the sun. She probably doesn't even see the people that are in the car. So I'm gonna park this and we'll get eating our scrambler. All right, guys, we're parked. The bill came to 581. We'll see if that uh, is good right across the United States of America. Let me know in the comments below if it's the same price in other states. Thank you. Uh, at this location, it's Tropicana, which is my favorite orange juice. Got to give that a quick shake. Ooh la la. Like the hat. It's my Heisenberg hat because everybody thinks I look like Heisenberg. So I just thought I'd go with the flow. Mm. No matter what breakfast I'm eating, I have to have orange juice. Uh, unless it's pancakes, I guess. I have to have, I, I like to have uh, orange juice first thing in the morning. I need to drink that first. And then after that, I'll have to have milk if I'm doing something like pancakes that have syrup and stuff can't drink sugar and sugar we're gonna put the bag right there nice hopefully that'll catch our finished product we've got napkins we have our orange juice two salsas it looks like salsa de sol this is our she, uh, she wrapped it up in the the bacon one I'm hoping that it's the steak one because that would just make everything go crazy yeah it says steak and and uh, bacon and sausage on the same piece of paper. So that is definitely not the biggest burrito I've ever eaten, but it is a breakfast burrito. You don't want to get too crazy with your breakfast burritos. So I think that's about a perfect size for a breakfast thing. Let's get into this. We'll take a bite of it without the sauce and then we'll add the sauce and then we'll see what tastes better. And again, I'd love to hear in the comments below if you guys like this sauce or not on your burrito, on your breakfast burrito. Here we go guys, first time ever trying the scrambler, I always forget what it's called, the Grand Scrambler Steak Burrito. Got stuck to every my, all my teeth. When I bit into it, I really tasted burrito, I mean, uh, potato, cheese, and salsa. I didn't get any meat in the first bite, but we'll add, add sauce to the next one. I'm just gonna take a little dab out. That is spicy. Mmm. 
Okay, we're gonna add some hot sauce to this. Hopefully I get some steak in this next bite. It smells pretty good. Scratch, sniff it. Can you smell that? Can you smell it? Okay, here we go. It's kind of weird for me to eat spicy for breakfast, but it definitely uh, made the burrito taste. It just gave it that oomph. That's what it needed, that little oomph. But it did taste good. I'm a kind of straight up kind of guy. I don't put uh, really anything on my bacon and eggs. Uh, so if I have a whole, the only thing I put on bacon and eggs is salt and pepper. That's pretty much it. Uh, but when it comes to sauces and, and other things, I never really, I like my stuff kind of straight up. So with the sauce, it tastes great. Without the sauce, it tastes great. I'm gonna do one more bite for all you one o'clock in the morning people who are waiting for Taco Bell to open so you can have your breakfast. Mm. Mm. I really got the taste of the tomatoes in that one. And of course I keep tasting the, um, the potatoes and the cheese and the salsa are like overpower everything on this burrito. Here's a little piece of steak, finally I found one. That tastes pretty good too. All right guys, we are gonna go in and finish this off and I'll be right back to rate it just for you and just for you. So, hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, two points for camp. So that was the Grand Scrambler Beef Burrito, and it was actually quite good. On my rating scale, guys, I'm gonna to totally recommend this for 581 American uh, for the burrito and the uh, orange juice. I am actually quite satisfied, I'm full. Uh, the eggs are a little bit strange to me, the way they scramble them or whatever. They're probably, again, come to these places frozen and then they just cut it all up or whatever they do to it. So the eggs is kind of, if they were freshly scrambled eggs that morning, then I would totally give it a go out and get it now, because everything else in it was absolutely fantastic. Way to go, Taco Bell. All right, guys, and I can't wait for you guys to bring this to Canada. Please, Taco Bell, Canada, get on it immediately, because people in, Can in Canada are totally missing out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching KBD Productions TV. Don't forget to give this, a, this video a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we will talk to you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken out. Boop. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to, nope. Well, that went swimmingly. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It went in and then came back out again. So that Grand Scrambler, Grand Scrambler uh, burrito steak was on my rating scale, guys. It was, I'm gonna do this again. It's getting hot in here. Time to move on. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.